when you allow your friend to do you a favor. Pay good money, pay fashion designers, pay the tailors so they can make you quality looks. We are burn. <laughs> burning this look. Hi everyone, um, let's do it again, sorry. Hi everyone, this is your best friend Charlie Dior. Let's talk fashion. All right, welcome back to part two. Let's get started. And our next, we have Vanessa Nyakua. Okay, Vanessa is an actress and a presenter. This outfit is by Rex Kojo and styled by KK Mensa. Listen, honestly, I didn't know who this lady was. I did not know who she was. But a lot of people were tagging me under the picture. Um, and I was like, yes, I have to do more research on who this lady is. Uh, my producer actually reached out to them and they, they said that they went with this look because they wanted to um, show the richness of Kente and also um, they, they wanted to use the Vodafone colors. They wanted to use the Vodafone colors. The feathers, they added the feathers to give it a little bit of drama and I absolutely love this look. I love the fact that they use Kente. I love the fact that they use the feathers, the, the drama of it all, the color was daring. She looks beautiful, her glam, she looks confident. This is how you do people. This is how you do Kente. This is how you take Kente to the next level. This is how you do it. I think she looks fantastic. She looks amazing. And we are going to buy this look with a lot of gold. And she is definitely our best dress nominee on the red carpet. I don't think this picture even... Uh, um, it even shows how beautiful this look is. Like if you go on to the, if you go on, on on Instagram, you will see videos, you know, showing how beautiful this dress was. Thank you for giving us this. We are definitely buying this look with a lot of dollars. Next we have <laughs> my very good friend Felix Amwakumensa Zion Felix, who is a blogger. <laughs> Oh, uh, Zion Grace, the red carpets with this peach double-breasted suit paired up with this button-up white shirt with the with the with, with the white sneakers. <laughs> mm. Let me say this, and I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this. And this is not even about Zion, honestly. This is not even about Zion. Okay, <laughs> it's not even about Zion. But there are certain people, right? Hey, I hope I don't get in trouble. It's not, once again, it's not about him. But I'm just saying there are certain people that poverty, poverty is embedded into their system, into their blood. That whatever they do, whatever they wear, and if at all, it doesn't suit them. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Like, like, when you have drama, Ghana map to the sense, say, whatever they wear, they can be wearing the most expensive thing it doesn't suit them and just maybe maybe zion might be suffering from that i'm just saying don't come for me i don't want any smoke okay i'm just saying i'm just saying okay because when i mean he tried this time i, I feel like he he he, he tried he tried to give us a look he tried to pull a look but it didn't go all the way the pants needed alterations the sneaker choice was a wrong sneaker suit. <sighs> My producer said he tried. So we're just going to go with that. He tried. Are we going to buy this? No. Are we going to burn this? No. We will borrow this for today. <laughs> we will borrow this for today. <laughs> ah, as a school teacher, a Sunday school teacher. Should I? Anyways, next, let's go to our next, and next we have Don Lomi, a.k.a. E.L. I haven't 
seen EL in a long time. I haven't heard from EL in a while, like in a while. So I was really happy to see him on the red carpet. He gave us a look. He gave us this metallic suit. Okay, paired it up with the, the fedora hat and the classic men's wear shoe. Finished the entire look with this dash and shades. I thought EL killed this look. He looked fantastic. Absolutely. This is how you do men's wear. It's well fitted. Okay. Best dress nominee. Best dress nominee. You can't go wrong if you if you if you pull up like this. Zion Felix, this is how you should pull up. This is how it should it should fit. This is how your suit should fit. As we're gonna watch us here. Give us a look. Let us gag over these looks. Pam Sena Dawson. Pam Sena Dawson. This is how you should show up. He looks dope. He looks easy. It's well fitted. Very, very different style on the red carpet. I was so happy to see him on the red carpet. This is how you do it. Best dressed nominee for me. Okay? We will be buying this look with a lot of dual. <laughs> with a lot, a lot of dual legs. Next we have... The most important person on the planet now is right here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Black Sherry. Black Sherry. He took home the best music video of the year, best hip hop song of the year, and the most important award of the of the night. The artist of the year went to Black Sherry. Yo, how judge ye? None of them ye by me ye. None of them ye by me ye. By your day. Oh, and speaking about Black Sherry, okay, he will be in New York City May 20th. We're having a concert for, you know, in, 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 in the in New York City, <laughs> the Palladium, Times Square. Grab your ticket. Tickets are on, uh, on, on, uh, on the site right now. Grab your tickets. We will leave the link below. Grab your tickets now, okay? Back to this look, okay? This look made me happy. It, it, it was very, very much expected from Black Sharif. I feel like Blacko is obsessed with the old school fashion. He's very, very much obsessed with Triabodom fashion. He's very, very much <laughs> obsessed with yellow CC day for like, you know the vibe. Like, like, like anytime I, I see Blacko in looks like this, I just want to break out into a song. I just want to break out into a song. Like an old school song. What I see it? It's it, the flare pants is very, very it looks very, very good on him. That's his style. I like it for him. What I see it? He's obsessed with these looks. I love it. I love the 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 touch of the pearls. It, it, it you know it's very very different. Kudos to you. Keep giving us looks, keep giving us fashion, keep giving us talent, keep giving us good good music congratulations to you uh black hole this is the best dress nominee for me and we will be buying this look with a lot of dollars <laughs> next we have fo okay we have stone boy congratulations on your new album stone boy stone boy is an afrobeat um afrobeat dance hall artist um and stone boy's style is very unpredictable sometimes okay like i'm thinking he's gonna pull up in a, a in a in a look and he shows up in a different whole look there are some pieces um that works for me and some pieces that i mean it doesn't i like the hat i like the funky glasses and i like the suit the the big color shirt on the suit doesn't work for me it really does see. i'm like why why? Why? I mean, why? Why this choice? It makes you look older. It ages you. I think look like this ages you. You, you are young. You want to look fresh. You know, you are competing with these young thugs. You are competing with these young folks. You are competing with these youngins. I don't need you dressing like this. What do you see it? Ugh. Ugh. I'm struggling because I do like Stone Boy, but this look fell flat. For me very very flat for me I, like i said i like the hat i like the glasses it's just the like who whose idea was it i do not like that we are burning it we are burning the in the, the shirt i mean you could have just put up without the the shirt without the, the shirt the, the inside shirt that just 
brought this whole look to like level two for me. So because of that, we will be burning this look. I think it's 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 a worst dress nominee for me. I'm sorry, definitely a worst dress nominee for me. Speaking about next, we have I say Felicia. I say Felicia is a presenter and an influencer and. I guess the category um, for a safe Felicia was was a wedding guest. What is this, Mama? A safe Felicia, how dare you come onto the red carpet dressed like that? Huh? A safe Felicia is the first person in history to make our kente look so cheap. Huh? I tell you, so wanna. Yes, so because it looks very much uncomfortable around the bustier, like it's very tight around the bustier. If your designer calls you again to dress you for the for, for the for, for the BGMAs, tell your designer you are busy. Tell that designer you are busy. They did you wrong. They did you wrong. This is not it. It's ill-fitted. You look uncomfortable. And you were sweating profusely the entire night. Oh! What's going on? She looked uncomfortable. And every time I, I, I saw a video of her, she's sweating. This is what happens. You managed to make Kente look so cheap. They did you wrong. This is worst dress nominee for me. And did you guys see her bag? Once again, don't stop carrying these bags to the red carpet. It does not work. It does not work. It doesn't work. Because of that, we will be burning this love. Next, we have Bella Munti. Media personality, honey. Bella, Bella, Bella Moon. <laughs> Bella Moon. This was her first um outfit as she hosted the show. She did an amazing job hosting the show. Please, people, name one bad item. Name one bad part of this look. I'm waiting. You can't because there is none. Bella did a great job hosting. Bella did a great job with this look. Each year, every year, Bella Mundi puts in the work. And it shows. It shows. She looks like a disco ball. In a great way. Fabulous. Phenomenal. Absolutely fantastic. Sparkling. Listen, this was made by Yatel Ghana. Listen to me, Belamundi. Yatel Ghana loves you. Yatel, they love you. They always make sure that you look your best on the red carpet. Wearing a body tight, body hugging, dressed like this, with such a fabric like this, on live television, you have to have the biggest, you must have the biggest courage to rock something like this on live television because anything can go wrong. It's very, very risky. Very, very risky. Then we are get to bar. No one get to bar. This is like amazing. Best dress nominee for me. We are buying this look with a lot of tools. Bella, Bella. You killed it. You are like. You kill this. You kill this for me. This is how I want to see my celebs look on the red carpet. Is that too much to ask? Best dress nominee. We are buying this look with a lot of dollars. <laughs> with a lot, a lot of dollars. Next, we have Camido. Camido is a musician. Um, he took home the award for Afro Beat Song of the Year. So, congratulations to you. Typically, I like Camido's style. Typically, I like Camilo style. I think I follow I follow him on Instagram, and he, he he gives us looks. I don't know what what happened here. This is such a letdown for me. I loved his look last year, um, uh, but this this was not it. Last year's look was very young. It was funky and trending. This is quite the opposite. It's not giving anything. It's tired and through. It's tired and through. 
I do not like this blazer at all, paired up with this this glasses. It made me nauseous. Don't person me fit. Don't person me fit. It wasn't good. Disappointed. I'm disappointed. It's old, dry, tired, and through. We will be burning this look. This is such a bore. I was so underwhelmed with this look. Such a bore. And because of that, we will be burning this look. Yes. <laughs> Next, we have Mona Gucci. Mona Gucci is a media personality. I know, um, I know her personally. I've been on her show quite a few times, and this is hard for me. What I'm about to do is very, very hard for me. But when I sit here on this, when I sit here facing you guys, I have to be honest with you. I have to be honest with myself, and I, have to, I just have to be honest. And this was not it for me. This, this was very, very disappointing to see Monaguchi in a look like this. I mean, this is what you wear after you've given birth. This is what you wear to your baby christening. This is what you wear um, to your outdooring ceremony. And part of this is her fault, and part of this is uh, it's very, very technical, and it's, and, and it's the fashion designer's fault. First, you have to know, I keep saying this, and every time I say it, people feel like I'm attacking them. You have to know your body type. We, are, we all have different, different body types. You have to know your body type and know what works and what doesn't work. Know where you want to cover and where you want to expose. And I feel like the fashion designer did you dirty. This was not it. From the color, your face looked pretty, your the hair and makeup looks good. But the dress, you look uncomfortable. You look uncomfortable. And not every piece ha has to be a corset. I did not every everything you guys want to do a corset look. I love Monaguchi when he when she wears um um her jumpsuit. I think the proportion works really good for her i love when she she, she she wears a jumpsuit this is not it this was not given this was not good it was ill-fitted the mesh did not really blend with her skin tone this is the worst dress nominee for me i know you're gonna see this i know somebody's somebody's gonna be some messy ass person will send this to you but this was messy to me it, it's such a letdown and because of that we will be <laughs> Next we have Michael Owusu Ado, aka Sarkodie. Um, he took home the award for the best hip life um hip hop artist of the year. He might not you listen, we might not like this look today. But for some reason, I like it. <laughs> I like this look a lot. This look is by Casablanca. By now, I know you guys have seen how much this look costs. And I really don't care for the for for the amount of the look. It can cost a million dollars and you will still look like trash. I think Sarkodie looks dope. I just personally wish that this whole outfit was a one size smaller. Because to me, I know he was going for the oversized vibe of oversized vibe but for some reason i just wish that it was one size smaller a little bit that way it will look even more fitted fitted on him what you see it just it looks to me like yes he ordered it he ordered the outfits the outfits came in and it's not all the way there like the fits the fits no However, he still looks dope. He looks expensive. I love the details, the embroidery details um, on, on the neckline. It, it, it gives it a very rich feel. I love the color. I think he was, I think one of the only artists wearing a color like this on the on the red carpet. This looks good. Congratulations to you. Are we buying this? We'll buy it. We'll buy it. Because I've been burning a lot of Sarkodias looks lately. And I think we'll buy this look. He tried. It's expensive. It's embroidery. It's different. And because of that, we will be buying this look. All right. <laughs> we have come to the end of the show. But before we, we even pull, you know, pull the curtains down on this entire episode, I want to give the best dress of the entire night and the worst dress. The best dress of the entire night goes to... Drum roll, please goes to Bella Mundi. I thought Bella Mundi killed it. Killed everyone on the red carpet. She is a star, honey. She looks fantastic. Best dress. I am giving you Bella Mundi best dress on the red carpet. The worst dress on the red carpet at the 24th VGMAs goes to Edu Sofua and 
DJ Azone, so I don't know what was going on there. They disappointed me. I really wasn't um, expecting like anything good from those two, but big disappointments um, of the night. The best male dress for me will go to EL. EL to me, I mean, killed it. All right, thank you so much, loyal fans, for sticking with me. I appreciate the love and the hate sometimes. Okay, it's all good. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on all my social media platforms at Charlie underscore Dior. Big thanks, big thanks to I am Christy or say my producer for staying up all night, putting together all this information. My editor, I, I mean, you are amazing, honestly. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for always coming through. Um, big thanks to the Royals, honey, the Royals. And also, yes, like I said, please stay subscribed. I'll be bringing you guys more quality content i think our next video will be the top 10 amvca okay so stick around for that follow me on all my social media platforms like i said and until next time please remember if you do not want me to talk about it then don't worry <laughs> bye